Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G. It's about 2.30 in the morning when I'm filming this, which is a perfect time to do this, and I've barely eaten at all today, which makes this a really great decision because this, this, is Ginger Scotch House 4. <laughs> Also, this is not scotch, which you should probably be able to tell by the fact that it's not the color of scotch, and also it's in a jar. But forgive me, this is like Irish cream. This is an Irish cream that I made. It's vegan because I can't have dairy, so this is made with coconut milk, and I have to consume this really, really this weekend, otherwise this is gonna go bad. And basically, this has whiskey in it. Scotch is a type of whiskey, so we're just gonna kind of go with it. Quick backstory, if you don't know it, every year at Christmas time today, this video happens to be going up on Christmas Eve because I planned that purposely, but around Christmas time, I get drunk on scotch and make a gingerbread house from a kit, and it always goes terribly wrong because kits are fucking stupid, but this year, I got a different one because every year I get a different kit and hope that somehow the decorations are less stupid, but they keep picking the wrong decorations and the wrong candies, and it just doesn't look right. So this year, we are doing the Funky Log Cabin Kit from Not At All Sponsored, obviously, World Market. We've got a story on the back of this, so let me start with a story before we get into the bullshit that is a gingerbread house kit. Once upon a time, there were three little chunks who set out in the forest to build themselves homes. The first little chunk built her cabin with ribbons of sweet frosting layer between logs of salty pretzels. She adorned the lockway doors with bits of red and green caramel popcorn and sprinkled everything with a dash of dark sweet glitter. Then she squeezed the leftover frosting into her mouth, texted her friends to come over, and they all laid funky chunky around the bonfire and forgot all about the other two chunks because that's what happens when you indulge in dangerously good popcorn in the end. Oh god. We've got black sugar chunks. I'm guessing those are supposed to be glitters. Pink sugar chunks. A thing of pretzels. A tube of what I can only assume is frosting. Some popcorn. And some more popcorn. What? This isn't a gingerbread house. Log cabin kit. There's a door on the outside. I don't see a, a, a door. There's no, help. So I really wanna have a meltdown right now, but I'm not going to. Um, I have my cookies for Santa tray that I'm going to somehow build a log cabin on. God damn it. Hey, listen, you can't call it a kit if it's not a fucking kit. I just bought an expensive ass thing of pretzels. Now, usually when I do these kits, you, you stick the thingamajiggers together on the bottom and then, then you're, you're pretty much just decorate and you spend forever decorating. But at this point, I have to build a whole fucking house and then decorate. And I'm not happy about that. I also don't really know how I'm gonna make this not fall over. Make your own gingerbread house and a freaking stupid pretzels. Here's your kit. Except it's not a kit because I'm a fucking shit face stupid head who's just gonna make you believe that you're buying a kit and you just wasted all your money. And now you're gonna waste your whole night trying to make a damn house that's just gonna fall apart like this one's doing. Well, fuck you too. Damn it. Okay, I'm trying to add support beams in here at this point because it's just falling apart because they didn't even give me instructions on how to make your stupid kit work. And I don't... I don't know what else to do right now, so I'm just adding support beams and hoping. My hands are completely covered in sugar. I'm running out of frosting already. This is not... This is not how I planned this to go, okay? Let me just tell you. I always know that Ginger Scotch House is not gonna be a great experience because gingerbread house kits in general are stupid but making it yourself is such a pain in the ass 
that I just I just get the kit and I just hope that maybe 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 this year the kit will be slightly better and every year I get a different kit hoping that this one will be better and I've just backslid further than any kit I've ever used before with this one and I just I don't I don't even know because this frosting isn't even like the overly gluey frosting it doesn't dry it doesn't set my house is just like tipping inwards continuously and I'm oh I'm starting to lose it people I really just want to cry this is just making me want to cry I just want to give up and cry and right now I am just using a shit ton of frosting and a crap ton of hope and I still feel like I'm just gonna ruin everything and I'm just wasting my time. I'm very upset about this entire kit. I really just want to cry and go to bed. And I'm here fighting through it. Why are you falling over? You're supposed to be a support beam that's stopping everything else from falling over, you little bitch. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna add a roof. All of my sides are caving in. This one is falling right now. Bitch, please, no! No, 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 don't you dare. You have support beams. Why don't you hold yourself up? There's support beams, no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just want to cry. My sides all caved in. The whole thing is in pieces. Fuck you too, sack of shit. We're just gonna cover this. The whole thing fell down, and I really just want to cry. And I want to kill whoever made this kit. You know how Santa Claus sees you when you're sleeping, knows when you're awake, knows if you've been bad or good. If you made this kit, he's gonna kill you because you've been bad. And you know what? You deserve it. All I can do to stop from crying right now is to shove these stupid sticks onto this thing and hope that they don't fucking fall off, even though they all keep falling off, because life is miserable, and then you die. And by this point, I'm usually at the decoration step and getting pissed off that I can't make patterns with my decoration shit. And right now, I can't even make a fucking house. So I'm gonna put a roof on it now. And my way of putting the roof on it is to just slather this shit and a bunch more of this crap and then fucking hope that it doesn't fall the fuck over because I need the frosting to decorate with too and I just don't have enough. I hate this kit. In case you didn't realize, this is me really stressed out and really, really not so happy right now, okay? Usually, I can kind of stay a bit more um, in the, in the happier side of things at this time when I'm making these kits and yeah, they suck and yeah, I get angry, but I can kind of deal with it. Well, right now, I am not dealing with this very well and I know that and I know I'm probably gonna get comments about that and the amount that I give a shit is very much nothing right now because I'm just so upset at how terribly this is going and how much worse this looks than anything else ever and it looks like a damn two-year-old fucking tried something stupid and then pooped on it and I'm just so mad. I am so mad that I just can't right now. And I know, I know it's tried to say I can't even, but right now I can't even, okay people? Right now I can't fucking even. So I'm just gonna be odd for a while, all right? Right now, Amanda's just gonna be odd and we're just gonna go with it because Amanda wants to cry so badly and the only way she's not crying is to be odd and to keep talking like this in a weird version of third person with some sort of high-pitched shit going on and oh that pretzel's gone
Here's what we have so far. Let's do a house tour. We've got a wall that's falling down. We have got some sort of weird version of a door. We've got another wall that's falling down. And we've got another wall that's falling down. And we've got a shitty roof. Let's decorate this shit. I'm going to decorate this the only way I know how right now, which is just poop on a whole bunch of frosting and then drop on the four decorations they gave us. Hope that we can cover up some of the other atrocities that happened in here. Knowing full well we can't. There's no possible way to get to the picture that they had on the outside of that box because they don't give you anything to press this shit up against. Now if they gave you like a framework, then maybe, maybe this kit would actually be worth something. But no, they don't give you a frame, they don't give you plastic, they don't give you a gingerbread house, they don't give you a sides of a pretzel house, they don't even give you frosting that can hold it up. I'm gonna put popcorn along the sides too because I'm just gonna use all of the popcorn. Okay, so they're living in a hostile environment that is being ravaged by giant popcorn. And this giant popcorn, this is its homeland, okay? So really, it's their own fault because they invaded the giant popcorn homeland and the giant popcorn just normally lives there. So what it's done is it's just done what it, it's just gone to where it lives and it's invaded. They think it's an invasion. It's not actually an invasion because just it lives there and it's their own damn fault and I need scissors. So here's our story because I like to make a story out of these because sometimes it makes me feel a little bit better about them, myself and how terrible I did. These chunks, because that's what they gave us. They gave us, it's called chunks and we're just gonna cover this whole thing in sugar because what else am I gonna do with this sugar? Pour it on there, let's pour more on. So, this chunk decided to go build a house. And they had no money at all, so they found the only logs they could, which were pretzels. But that's okay, because these chunks are really small. So they just took their pretzels, and they went ahead, and they made their house in a land that they thought was really pretty, because for some reason, it rained black and purple sugar. Yes, that's right, this is not snow. This is rain. It rained black and purple sugar, which is all over my table now. So, they built their house out of their pretzels with their black and purple sugar. But they paid no attention to the fact that there was popcorn everywhere, and they just assumed that it was just a happy place that rained sugar and had popcorn. But they didn't realize that it was the land of the popcorn and they had invaded them. And the popcorn, they find the pretzels to be sacred. So what they, the chunk did was desecrate their sacred lands by making a house out of it. So the popcorn has reclaimed their sacred lands. And that is our gingerbread house. Here's the tour. Here's the popcorn reclaiming their sacred land. It had rained a lot, so it's covered in sugar. Here's the side that's falling apart. Here's another side that's falling apart. And the other side you can't see. And this has been Ginger Scotch House 4. This is probably the worst, the, the worst result of a gingerbread house that I've done. Uh, potentially ever. <laughs> but definitely on this channel. And uh, if you want to confirm that, go right ahead and watch the other Ginger Scotch Houses and you let me know if indeed this is the worst one. I'm gonna go with it probably is the worst one. Stay fresh, cheese bags. You are besmirching the name of Kit. You wish you could be a Kit, but no, you're not even a Kit.